for October 3rd, 2008. This is your Robot Panic Weekend Review. Not again. Oh, oh. Damn it. Come on. We start out this week with Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, a comedy about two people thrust together for one hilarious, sleepless night of adventure in a world of mixtapes, late night living, and live loud music. Starring Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings in the title roles, it's a story of two people with nothing in common except for a taste in music and their chance encounter which leads to an all-night quest to find a legendary band's secret show and ends up becoming their first date in a romance that could change both their lives. I came here with someone. Who? She's going to break them. Would you be my boyfriend for five minutes? What? Please just go with it, okay? Carrie Rickey from the Philadelphia Inquirer says Nick and Nora springs high on the bounce of its hugely likable leads, Michael Sarah and Kat Dennings. Colin Colvert from the Minneapolis Star Tribune says one advantage that Nick and Nora's infinite playlist has over the typical teen romantic comedy is a terrific soundtrack that perfectly matches the fleeting loyalties of teenage love. David Anson of Newsweek says director Peter Solit is able to take familiar teen tropes and transform them into low-key magic. Peter Travers of the Rolling Stone, however, says the script is After School Special 101. Gary Thompson from the Philadelphia Daily News says, I frankly am too old for this. I did the all-night bar hopping, dinner at dawn thing, and now just watching it gives me a hangover. Rod Rebert of the Chicago Sun-Times says, Nick and Nora's infinite playlist lacks some of the idiocy of your average teenage romantic comedy, but it doesn't bring much to the party. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist currently has a 61% freshness rating at RottenTomatoes.com. You dance? You know the blow dryer? Nora, come on. Hey, what's wrong? This doesn't concern you. Push me again. Oil and what? That's... Also opening this weekend is Beverly Hills Chihuahua, a Disney comedy about a pampered chihuahua named Chloe, voiced by Drew Barrymore, who finds herself accidentally lost in the mean streets of Mexico without a day spa or Rodeo Drive boutique anywhere in sight. Now alone for the first time in her spoiled life, she must rely on some unexpected new friends, including a street-hardened German shepherd named Delgado, voiced by Andy Garcia, and an amorous pup named Poppy, voiced by George Lopez, to lend her a paw and help her to find her inner strength on their incredible journey back home. Sweet Christ. Chihuahua. Rafer Guzman of Newsday states a surprise charmer that mixes family-friendly slapstick with shrewd adult humor. Carrie Rickey of the Philadelphia Inquirer says sublimely silly and oddly poignant, Beverly Hills Chihuahua, that's right, the one with the talking canines, is lading the tramp for lapdogs, roots for pooches, legally blonde told from the bruiser's point of view. Aaron Hilden from RobotPanic.com states, This is why I hate humanity. The people who made this should be drug into the street, shit on, and then shot repeatedly in the head. Beverly Hills Chihuahua currently has an inexplicable 53% freshness rating on RottenTomatoes.com and falling. In 1967, every... Saving you from the pain of Beverly Hills Chihuahua is Flash of Genius, starring Greg Kinnear as Robert Kearns, a man whose 1960s invention becomes standard in every car on the road. But when the automobile industry refuses to acknowledge his contribution, Robert embarks on a quest for recognition. Flash of Genius co-stars Lauren Graham of Gilmore Girls fame, Dermot Mulroney, and Alan Alda. Ford is very interested. Why a Ford? Wow, they want it. Oh, where, where's he going? Bob's real big on security. Come on, let her rip. That is very good, Bob. That's <laughs> very, very good. Bob Kearns, winner of the wiper competition. Congrats. Congrats. Stephen Ray of the Philadelphia Inquirer says, Flash of Genius has its corn, its conflation, its composite characters. But Kinnear does what he's done in the past. You underestimate the guy's acting chops, and suddenly, strikingly, he floors you. Gary Thompson of the Philadelphia Daily News says, If timing is everything, there's no better time for Flash of Genius and its story of the little guy getting ripped off by big business. Roger Ebert states, Flash of Genius tells the story in faithful and often moving detail. Rafer Guzman of Newsday states, This film rises slightly above convention thanks to Kinnear's strong performance as its not entirely likable hero. Colin Covert of the Minneapolis Star Tribune states it's a kamikaze flight of a movie that presents itself like a weighty Oscar contender. If there were a category for a best unintentional self-parody, it would be a shoe-in. 
Flash of Genius currently has a 74% freshness rating on RottenTomatoes.com. The law library is not going to make you a lawyer, Bob. Kearns versus Ford. I'm not sure why, but I understand you'll be representing yourself. My son, Dennis, will be... And rounding out this week's pick is Blindness. When a sudden plague of blindness devastates a city, a small group of the afflicted band together to triumphantly overcome the horrific conditions of their imposed quarantine. Blindness stars Academy Award nominee Julianne Moore, Gail Garcia Bernal, Mark Ruffalo, and Danny Glover. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times says, It's an allegory about a group of people who survived under great stress, but frankly, I would rather have seen them perish than sit through the final three quarters of the film. Rafer Guzman of Newsday says, Blindness is a face-first dive into the horror of human nature. Call it Lord of the Blind Flies, with several memorably harrowing scenes and a compelling cast. Colin Colvert from Minneapolis Star Tribune says, Blindness is an apocalypse movie for sophisticates. It'll work for you if you're more comfortable name-checking Thomas the Plague than 28 Days Later. Chris Cobbin of FilmCritic.com says, What was a poetic, exhaustively brilliant piece of fiction has now become a clunky, clattering, ever-collapsing film of bludgeoning rhetoric. Blindness currently has a 41% freshness rating at RottenTomatoes.com. And that does it for this week's Weekend Review at RobotPanic.com. Happy movie going, and don't see Beverly Hills Chihuahua or PanicBot 5000 will burn your house to the ground.